Homework 7, section 7.1, percents and decimals, video 2. Another type of conversion that we can do is converting percents to decimals, and vice versa, decimals to percents. Let's take a look at some examples of converting percents to decimals, and then we'll look at converting decimals to percents. For example, convert 60% to a decimal. Well, we know how to turn this into a fraction. We could have turned it into three-fifths like we did in the previous video, but a fraction is just a division problem. So if we did three divided by five, it would give us 0 0.6. And then suddenly it's like, wait, couldn't we have gotten that without going through the fraction? And the answer is yes, by keeping track of the original decimal place. And 60% of the decimal is to the right of the zero. And as a decimal, 60% is 0 0.60. So effectively, the decimal moved two places to the left. So in order to convert, let's write it under here. In order to convert a percent to a decimal, you just move the decimal two places left. And drop the percent sign. So 60, 60 as a number, as a decimal after the zero, so we would move it one, two places to the left and get 0.60 or you could say 0 0.60 or in this case you could say 0 0.6 because the zero at the end isn't necessary same thing for 7.5 percent drop the percent and move the decimal two places to the left now if there are not two digits to the left of the decimal already you need to insert a zero at the far left of the number so that you can move one more decimal place so 0 0.075 would be 7.5% as a decimal. And if your number has more than two digits, that just means the decimal won't make it all the way to the left of the number. To convert 325% to a decimal, the decimal was originally at the right of the five. So if we move it two places to the left, we get 3.25. So as you can see, converting the percent to a decimal is really easy. Just find the decimal, move it two places to the left, and drop the percent. But how do we do it the other way around? In other words, how do we convert a decimal to a percent? For example, let's say you want to convert 0 0.83 to a percent. Well, it's just as easy. When converting a percent to a decimal, you move the place, decimal place two places to the left. When you're converting a decimal back to a percent, you move the decimal two places to the right. And then put the percent sign on. So here's 0 0.83 before we do anything. If we move the decimal two places to the right, it's on the right side of the three, so we don't need it anymore. And we write the percent. So it's really pretty straightforward. One more example. Convert 1.3 to a percent. Since we're converting from a decimal to a percent, we're going to move the decimal two places to the right. However, there's only one digit to the right of the decimal. So just like in the case over here, where we didn't have enough digits, we can insert a zero to the right of the three before moving the decimal two places. So we would get 130%. So converting from percents to decimals is really easy. It's just a matter of moving the decimal in the correct direction. In case you forget which is which, this one is easy to recover. Percent means per hundred, which means you're dividing by a hundred, which makes your number smaller. So when you're converting from a percent, you're dividing by a hundred and move the decimal in the direction that makes the number smaller.